Having a baby cab running around. A little tomorrow person. What? Well, that's what I call little mixed race babies. Tomorrow people. Little people of tomorrow. Wise words there, Kevin. And you know, they say that it takes a village to raise a baby. Well, it takes a really strong set of supporting characters to make a TV show great. And Shameless is no exception. <laughs> So let's talk about season one of Shameless and not so much about the Gallagher's this time, but about the supporting characters that help make this show great. Now, we're not just going to talk about anybody that may have been in the show a few times during season one. We're going to talk about the main supporting characters and who else to start with other than Kev and V. Here we are at Kevin V's fake wedding. Started out as a drunk proposal from Kevin to V. Turned into a fake wedding so they could get a dowry from her father. Didn't end up being worth a whole lot of money, 500 bucks. Kevin's happy about it. But Kevin and V are the next door neighbors to the Gallaghers. And while they may not technically be family members, they basically are, especially V. She does everything for the kids. She really helps Fiona just as a good supporting rock, a foundation that Fiona can lean on. And Kevin, who owns the bar, is probably the funniest guy on Shameless. Veronica is played by Shanola Hampton, a very attractive woman. Shows a lot of her sexiness in Shameless. She's in every episode right from the start. She's the one in the club. When Steve first meets her, she's always giving advice to Fiona. She's always helping the kids out whenever something someone's sick or has something that's broken. Um, you know, she's got experience and helps them out. She's very funny, very sexy. Um, a webcam girl. Uh, I think she has about five or six different jobs. One of them is being a webcam girl. One of them is uh, role playing a little bit. So does have that factor or that element to it. Uh, and again, she's funny. She's smart. She's sexy. And again, she's really just a great friend. Um, you know, while Fiona is the matriarch of the family, I don't think she could survive without Veronica. And uh, we could all use a friend like Veronica or V. Kevin Ball is played by Stephen Howey. I think you probably recognize him from a show he had with Reba McIntyre. Uh, but Kevin is V's partner. He's also the owner of the Alibi, the bar where so much of Shameless is shot in or takes place in. Um, season one, Kevin's just kind of this big, goofy, dumb guy, very funny, uh, but he, but he's, but he's dumb, or at least his character uh, isn't very smart. Now he evolves a lot throughout the the next se few seasons. Here, really becomes a great, great and loyal friend and father. But season one, he's the dumb guy. He's the he's the funny dumb guy, um, you know. But you can tell he's very loyal to Veronica. He's very loyal to the Gallaghers, even though at first he tries to act like he doesn't like them. Um, he probably gets along. Uh, the best with Frank out of anybody else on the show. Um, you know, I think in the second episode, he's the one who drives that big Winnebago to go out and, and pick up Frank from Canada. Um, also one of the, one of the, one of the best parts of season one is one episode. He's got a, uh, a, a lady customer that keeps hitting on him at the bar. So just to try to get her away, he talks about how he's going to get in. He's going to get married. Frank overhears it, makes a big deal out of it. Veronica's mom happens to be at the bar. So that becomes a whole fiasco that everybody thinks he's engaged. So he's got to go ask Veronica to marry him. It turns out he's married and she doesn't really want to get married yet anyway. So they fake their wedding. We've already talked about that here, but that's a whole fiasco. They fake an entire wedding and they actually don't get married because he is already married. But we're not going to get into that as that is talked about in greater detail in season three i believe is when we uh, meet his ex-wife uh but uh, here's the meat stealing episode where uh they they take an entire truck of meat uh but i, I love kevin um kevin is he's my favorite character of shameless uh, i think he just adds such a great dynamic to the show such comedy and he's kind of like the bigger brother he's not really like the father to the gallagher's but he's like that big brother um that they all need and they all love Okay, next up, quite possibly might be the worst character in all of Shameless, seasons 1 through 11. That is Karen Jackson. 
Now, I think when the show first starts, she's a junior. Uh, she's getting tutored by Lip. This is one of the first episodes. This is one of the first scenes of the first episode of this show. That's Sheila right there. We're going to get into Sheila. Don't worry. But uh, she's getting tutored by Lip. And you can tell she's kind of a freak. Um, she starts blowing him. Uh, she says that science turns her on. Uh, and, uh, so that, that kind of foreshadows, you know, the type of person she is, but that's, that's not, that really doesn't have anything to do with why Karen is one of the worst characters of all time on Shameless. She just, she just is. And actually she gets progressively worse throughout, throughout the seasons. Um, but what she did with Frank um, so eventually, right. Lip starts to like Karen. They're kind of just messing around their friends, but lip lip starts to like Karen lip eventually falls in love with Karen and Karen breaks his heart, uh, and really does it in a terrible way. She ends up drugging Frank, sleeping with him, recording it, putting it out on the internet and making everybody see eventually lip sees it beats up Frank. Here she goes. She's going under the table. I don't know what she's doing, but Karen is awful. And now, of course, we mentioned that we would get back and talk about Sheila. Sheila Jackson is mother to Karen Jackson, played by Joan Cusack. And Joan Cusack does a fantastic acting job in this. Uh, in my previous video, I talked about how good of a job William Macy does as Frank. Joan Cusack may do just as good a job uh, as Sheila. So Sheila is the agoraphobic um, stay-at-home mom. Uh to to karen um so uh, you know she's agoraphobic so she will not leave her house she has a fear of going outside she's a big germaphobe uh makes people take off their shoes when they come into the house uh and, and puts them in plastic bags so big germaphobe uh and it's very ironic for all of her issues with agoraphobia you know agoraphobia she's got a very kinky secret in the bedroom uh, which is not so clean. Uh, she likes to use some rather large sex toys and insert them into men's butts. <laughs> no kink shaming here. Um, uh, Sheila is a very nice woman, uh, always willing to take care of, of things, uh, helps take care of Frank. Frank takes big advantage of her. When he gets kicked out of his house, he realizes that with Sheila, Sheila's not going to leave the house. So she doesn't really know all the stuff that Frank does and how vile and disgusting of a human being he truly is. Um, so he takes advantage of the fact that she'll cook for him. She'll clean for him. She'll take care of him. Uh, but I guess he does pay the price uh, with his butt because Sheila likes to do that stuff. Uh, but Joan Cusack, Sheila Jackson, a very nice woman. She's got some big issues. She can't leave the house. Um, and she's Karen's mother and she seems to be very different than Karen other than maybe she's got a very healthy sexual appetite played by Joan Cusack. Next up is officer Tony. Now, Tony is not in every episode in season one, uh, but he still does play a main role, especially, uh, for in a few episodes here. This is the episode where he is telling Fiona that she took his virginity uh they did it in a cop car uh she didn't know that uh so she gets a little surprised here uh tony's a really nice guy and he's in love with fiona um tries to do everything to tr um to get uh her to go out with him uh eventually catches steve uh doing some illegal activities and um you know he he, he does try to like stake him out so he can catch steve Probably because he knows he's a criminal and then also to get rid of him because Steve is in the way of him and Fiona. Uh, Fiona does take advantage of him uh, and, and uses him. Um, right. But uh, Tony's a nice guy. Uh, but then Tony gives Steve an ultimatum. Hey, I'm either going to turn you in and you're going to go to jail or you can leave town in season one. So Tony wants to uh, have Fiona meet his mom. She takes his virginity. Uh, he helps out the family. He brings drunk Frank home a lot. And he ultimately is the reason why Steve leaves in season one. Let's move on to maybe some people's favorite character. And that is Mickey Malkovich. Uh, Mickey, obviously I said he's a Malkovich, which in the social hierarchy of families, the Malkoviches are probably just a step 
below the Gallagher's. They're dirty. They're criminals. They're in and out of jail. And Mickey is no exception. Early on, he's out here. He's trying to hunt down Ian uh, because Mickey's sister, Mandy, tells him that Ian did something wrong to her. Like, you know, basically, Ian rejected her because he happens to be homosexual. uh, And Mandy doesn't like that, tells Mickey. So here's Mickey out here looking for Ian. Ends up beating up Lip as Lip takes, uh, I guess, sacrifices himself trying to get Mickey to leave Ian alone. Uh, Turns out, spoiler, Mickey actually is gay himself, although he hides it um, for for a few seasons here. But he's in and out of jail. Uh, He's a criminal. He just doesn't care. He does whatever he wants. He's very dirty. He's very filthy. But he's also very funny. And again, um, we see him in season one and then throughout the show. Uh, it's nothing but uh, Mickey and Ian having their having their relationship, if, if that's what you want to call it. Here's the scene where Mickey's dad actually goes through goes walks through his room to get to the bathroom. Doesn't realize that Mickey and Ian are in the bed together, shirtless. By the time that he comes out, so there's the dad. The dad uh, is worse than Mickey, way worse than Mickey. So you kind of see where Mickey uh, comes from and why he is the way he is. Um, and, you know, sees them here, doesn't really think anything of it, thinks they're just having a sleepover. And, uh, uh, you know, so there, there's that in this scene. But there it is, Mickey Malkovich, the, I mean, I don't know how else to describe him other than a hoodlum. Last on the list is Steve slash Jimmy. Now, you could argue that Steve is not a supporting character. He is a main character. He does have his own scenes that are separate from the Gallagher's. But at the end of the day, he's not a Gallagher, so or Gallagher, not Gallagher. So we're going to consider him a supporting character. And I like Steve. Um, Steve is first seen uh, in the club where he is checking out Fiona, sees that somebody steals her purse, tries to be her knight in shining armor, does fail. Now, thinking about this, I wouldn't be surprised if Steve set that whole thing up to try to look like her knight in shining armor, but he fails uh, because Steve is very manipulative. He's a schemer, and that just seems like something that he would try to do. Uh, Now, Steve, when we said Steve slash Jimmy, I think in season one, only Debbie finds out that his real name is Jimmy. So Jimmy actually comes from a very wealthy family. His father is a doctor. His mom is a crazy batshit crazy woman. But he actually goes to, I think he goes to Michigan Medical School, ends up dropping out, doesn't doesn't want to finish. So he comes back, changes his name to Steve, and starts stealing cars. And that's what he's doing when he meets Fiona. And let's be honest, Fiona likes that in him. He's the bad boy. Now, again, she only knows him as Steve. Um, and their relationship is is rocky at the beginning. Um, he's trying to to wine and dine her and buy her stuff, which really isn't the way into her heart. But eventually he does win his way into her heart. And with Steve, it's kind of like he does a good thing, then he does a bad thing. He does a good thing. And he does a bad thing. He does help get Carl out of, I think the school is about to expel him. Ends up talking the principal out of it by hooking him up with weed. So he does come in clutch there. Now he does screw up later in the season when he lets, well, first of all, he lets Lip work for him or help him out making some money. Again, he steals cars, sells them to chop shops and things like that. And then Lip and Ian actually get pulled over in a stolen vehicle. They end up getting in trouble, which, of course, is going to piss off Fiona. Now, he does come through, you know, saves the day, gets them out of trouble, wants to take wants to take the hook, um, wants to take the rap for it. And that's when Tony comes into play, gives him the ultimatum. Hey, you either leave town or you're going to go to jail. So Steve ends up leaving the very last episode in season one, does ask Fiona to come with him, which really, if you think about it, damn, Fiona just rocked him there. Uh, But really, if you think about it, Steve, that's kind of selfish to ask her. There's no way she's going to leave. She almost does. She really does almost leave, uh, but she's just needed too much at home. She can't go with him. And then the later seasons, I think Steve's, Storyline gets crazy when he comes back. Spoiler alert in season two. I think it's 
I think it's kind of stupid, his storyline. But ultimately, I like Steve. He likes Fiona. He loves Fiona. While he does do some bad things, he does try to make things right. And he does help out the Gallaghers. Again, he may have selfish intentions with Fiona, but he does help them out. So Steve slash Jimmy, we don't consider him a main character. He's a supporting character. And uh, I think I think he's okay. I think he's all right. Also, I think it's Steve's ass that you see in the intro for the first nine or ten seasons of Shameless. So if you're like, that guy's got a cute butt, I'm pretty sure that's Steve's. All right, well, there it is. There's the supporting characters in season one of Shameless. And I think all they do is enhance the show, make it great. Season one is fantastic of Shameless. You have Veronica and V who are in every episode and end up being in every episode throughout the entire series. You have Steve, who is a huge part in season one, a big part in season two and season three, and then not so much. Mickey, Mickey comes and goes and is, th- is and is in I think every season really becomes uh, more prominent in the later seasons, but he's in every season. Sheila is there, I think, for the first four or five seasons. And then you have Karen that's around for like the first four seasons as well. Karen is terrible. Sheila is crazy and kinky, but we like her. Steve, yeah, he's a con man. He lies. He steals, uh, but we kind of like him. And then we love Veronica and Kevin. Let me know, what do you think about Shameless Season 1? Is that the best season? Uh, And who out of this list and the supporting characters is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. I will respond. Make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe, turn on the noties, all that. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.